Hello there, welcome, welcome. So I updated this world to the 1.21 finally, but the paragliders mod is not updated yet and the traveler's backpack is not working um, properly, you know, if you right click one of this right here the game is gonna crash so i'm not gonna do that <laughs> uh, we're gonna build the little pumpkin and melon farm right here as you can see i have the limited this space for that and in this down floor like um two thirds of this space is gonna be the pumpkin farm and right on top covering all of this space is gonna be the melon farm because you know when you break a melon block it's gonna give you melon slices so let's build it Well, so there it is. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave um, those little faces like that. It's been working for like 30 minutes. No, maybe a little more. I'm not, I'm not really sure about that. But as you can see, we already have like three stacks of melons and five stacks of pumpkins and there you have the melon farm as you can see it is quite um it is quite efficient actually and down here you have the pumpkin farm there you have it and yeah that's it um i'm not sure if i showed this guy before but i trapped him right here in this boat with chest i named my little camel camilla why not <laughs> it is a bit funny um for me at least she's right here chilling out i'm going to wait just a little more to go and trade with my villagers and as you can see i also added some tough slabs because we now have them in game that's quite that's quite nice we are going to build a lot with this from now on because they look kind of nice actually okay so let's trade with my friends camilla please stay right here you're going to be fine and we're going to start with the plannings for the new village that we're going to build right here i think this is going to be the very center because i want this village to be like this big more or less i'm not i'm not sure actually we're going to find it later that's the reason why i have this wool in my inventory and all of these blocks i'm gonna show you the design for the houses hello my friend how are you today thank you thank you okay so we're gonna start with the plannings and the very center of this new village is going to be right here and i'm gonna show you the color palette that we're going to use for each type of building and this is going to be the gradient for each build as you can see these are like the darkest um blocks maybe these two could be darker actually but these two blends better with these um stone blocks so i'm gonna use them just like that and we're going to mix all of this and the center of the village is going to be right here just like this maybe it's going to be a little bit bigger okay just like so i know it looks weird but 
trust me it's going to look nice in the end as you can see it is like a little circle and this is going to be like the kiosk i'm not sure if that if that's correctly said but in spanish it is called kiosko so this is going to be the kiosko okay and we're going to plan the next buildings i want to have like five blocks pathways so we can actually have space between each building because i don't want this village to feel cluttered because my structures as you can see with my house right here they get a little bit bigger as they go up as you can see right here this is like the, the very edge they get big like this and they get big a little bit more on top so if you have a five um, blocks pathway you can have something like this and you you're gonna have like one block right in the center for the sunlight to come down to the ground and you are gonna place some houses like around here so i think that we're going to start by planning one house right here just like this that's a pretty basic shape so you don't have to worry about having a lot of shapes here and there and just like so we have another shape and the entrance is going to be right here we're gonna work on them in the future not today because that's a lot of time i may actually change them a little bit in the future because because this is just like my idea of what i want okay this is going to be pretty funny actually <laughs> I don't know why, but it looks like it's gonna be funny to build that. Okay, I think that I'm going to I'm going to move this a little bit because it's like too close to the kiosk. Um, I'm gonna build the first house right there today, I think, but I need to go and mine for some of these blocks. And I'm gonna need a lot of wood also. So let's go and gather some materials, shall we? Okay, so we're back from that little mining session and we found 27 diamonds. That's pretty good actually because they will come in handy later. Because when you want to make a copy of the smithing templates, you need 7 diamonds per one copy. So they are quite expensive. I got all of these tough blocks and all of this stone and andesite blocks i mined a lot of stuff because we're going to use um like all the variants okay so i went to the skeleton spawner because i wanted some bone blocks and i found this iron traveler's backpack it's another addition to our little collection i'm gonna place this right here so i'm going to oh i forgot i forgot that i don't have <laughs> i don't have the pearl either um i have a lot of wood right here but i'm gonna need a lot more this is going to be a little bit more of gathering materials so well let's do this Okay, so it's been a few hours since the last clip and this is all that I've got. I decided to get rid of the smooth stone for my design because you have to cook the stone to get this and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to use just the other blocks, just like the underside, the stone, the tough and 
this variance so we can actually make it a little bit easier and in this chest i have a lot of wood because i'm gonna need a lot i'm gonna use a lot of deep slate for the roofing i'm going to use a lot of terracotta but for this first one i'm going to use just white terracotta you're going to see that we're gonna use the softer colors of terracotta and i'm going to use a lot of white stained glass paints so well i'm gonna i'm gonna build it you know you know how this goes Well, 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 that's the result. And I have to say that I love it. I like this more than my house in this world, actually. <laughs> so now I want to change it. But that's not going to happen. I love this house a lot. I like this um, little detail on the entrance. I like this little... I'm not sure if I should call it like a balcony or something like that. But I like it a lot. I like the combination of colors. So that's pretty pretty nice this is still growing i think that i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of this because i don't like the way the way it goes well i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna leave it like that for now and this looks phenomenal i love this a lot i don't know why but this looks better than my house as i said before i love this um type of clock like an ancient clock or something like that i like these bookshelves a lot this is like a little tree right there i like this detail a lot this is like the little kitchen this is like the little sink everything is little as you can <laughs> as you can see and the second floor is gonna be the bedroom so this is just going to work as that for now i'm gonna add maybe more maybe more beds i'm not sure because because i think that they are not breathing yet i don't know why maybe they just need more vegetables to just do their thing and this floor is going to be used as the trading hall for one type of villager i'm not sure what type of villager is going to be in this place because every single house is going to be like um housing some some villagers to trade with them and i'm not sure if i'm going to leave this roof oxidized to the most oxidized um variant because this looks kind of nice now that i have built this house i realized that the kiosk right here is gonna be too close to this house so i'm gonna move this later this is a problem for another day i think i'm gonna i'm gonna move it just like about here to give that house more space on the entrance but as i said that's a problem for another day so that's gonna be it for today's episode i hope you enjoyed it and if so please let me know in the comments down below if you liked this house as much as me i'm gonna need a lot of materials for all the houses that i'm gonna build in this village but i think it's gonna be worth it so that's gonna be it for today's episode and i hope to see you in the next one goodbye